Hello, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. It's Lori, and I'm here to do your uplifting reading all about you. I just did your um, around eight minute reading and your daily reading. All I can say is incredible. And the cards, the most important cards from those readings, just fell out in this one the Empress and the Justice card. So, whether you're male or female, don't worry about that. This is both of those messages are incredible for you. What an awesome, awesome energy happening here for you! All right, you may want to check out those other readings. Let's go ahead and see who we are focusing on today. Hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun in life. It's important to have fun, have balance, self love, self care. Let's get you back all on screen here. Okay. Let's see what's truly magical about you. The Seven of Pentacles. You're a planner. You're a strategist. You know what you... Uh, you take the time to figure out what you want to keep putting your efforts into or what you need to stop doing so that you can focus your attention on things that will benefit you more. Very abundant, very creative, very inspired energy here. So I'm hearing growing massive wealth, growing massive abundance. Because you're learning, you're, you're, you're in the process. So many of you are still in the process of seeing what you are actually capable of doing, of growing, of creating. A lot of you are just hitting that law of abundance stage where you've set your intentions about what you want. You became realistic about your desires. What, And you're okay with your desires, okay? So you now have a new way of thinking about mon money. You don't see it as the root of all evil. You don't see it as something only the rich can have and keep having. You no, know, your whole outlook has changed. And that's because you have... Tested the waters, as they say. You went out and you set an intention for yourself. First of all, you said, it's okay for me to have money. I, I deserve to have money. And you believe it now, okay? And now you've said, okay, I'd like to have this. And it worked. And then you set this intention. And that's going right for you, okay? If any of your intentions stop happening, it's because your belief in it is not as strong that you deserve it is not as strong as what you're asking for keep that in mind okay beautiful energy here you are definitely manifesting everything that you want and i do get that most of you are at your beginning stages with this or if like i just said you had started manifesting and things were going well and then all of a sudden there was a break like nothing's going the way i set my intentions it's because you may have made your intentions higher than your belief in your ability to receive that thing. So just recheck what you're thinking, okay? Tell yourself, if I can have all these things that I ask for, I can absolutely have this thing that I'm asking for. Do not hold yourself back. It's when you hold yourself back that you do not manifest what it, your intentions. You can't co-create with spirit when you don't believe you deserve it. Okay, beautiful energy here. This feels very, very healthy generous so when you bring in you're sharing which is the whole oh that's a whole different area of the law of abundance but when if we believe that when we receive money and give money freely that we are benefiting ourselves and everyone else like every dollar that you spend is helping somebody else to put food on their table okay it's benefiting some worker somewhere that, and you benefit from what they do for you, okay? It's just mutual. And once you have that attitude, the generosity just keeps flowing. It's incredible energy here. And you are reaping the benefits of what you have done. You already have set some wonderful intentions and manifested those dreams. Awesome. That is magical. I love this energy. New feeling fresh, excited, and it fits in with the daily reading. All right, so we have the nine of wands is something that you have overcome, okay, that you should be proud of. Yeah, you have been through many, many, many battles. I'm also hearing it's it's been a mental 
challenge, okay, to break the stigma of what you deserve and what you, you know, the societal beliefs. We're taught that we're supposed to go to school for 18 years, date our high school sweetheart, marry our high school sweetheart, get married right out of college, uh, or go to college, um, get married, have kids, have a career. You know, one person has a career, the other one stays home taking care of the kids. Those are societal rules. And at some point, those became too much of a burden for you. You never gave up trying to succeed. But those rules, those BS rules, became too heavy, too much of a burden. And you started seeing that they were holding you back, that they were keeping you down, that they kept you challenged all the time. And this is, again, how you saw yourself reacting with money, interacting, I should say, with money, with abundance, with happiness, with joy. All of those things were you were being held back and victimized and told, oh, you know, as long as you just keep fighting and working so hard and blah, 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 that you'll eventually have the American dream. Well, guess what? The American dream is not built off the sweat of other people, okay? It is built off the abundance of sharing and generosity of each other, lifting each other up, seeing that we can co-create and receive exactly what was promised to us. Ask and you shall receive. So you overcame those strict, restricting burdens of BS rules um, that kept you held back, kept you froze out, kept you poor, kept you depressed, sad, lonely, even though you're surrounded by an army of people, okay, they're all feeling the same way. They have nothing to offer you because you have nothing to offer them. It was a, a cycle that you broke. You broke free from this. I'm also hearing that this is a generational cycle of wealth that has been broken. So a lack of wealth has been broken. And now you have the understanding you're building a legacy here. You are definitely headed in the right direction. And all I can say is, thank goodness you never gave up on you, okay? Because that's where all the power is, is within each of us. That's where the divine resides, is inside of us, okay? Beautiful accomplishment there. All right, what kind of impact do you have on the people around you? The two of cups? Woo! Man, wholeness, alignment, peace, equality, abundance, Love, unconditional love, respect, man, soulmate energy too. I'm, I'm also hearing that you lift people up because you have such a loving, caring, equal, equally balanced energy about you. People automatically can see that you are willing to offer them a helping hand, show them the way. Comfort them when they need comforting. But you are not going to sit there and let somebody take from you and not give back the same. Okay? So if you're offering kindnesses and gentleness and friendship and abundance and happiness, people understand that they have to give that back. Okay? In order for them to be... And this is not a demand from you. This is a respect. Okay? This is them understanding that you are a good person. You've got a good heart and that you deserve to have equal treatment. Okay, so beautiful, healthy relationships here. Soulmate energy. You give, you give, but you also receive. You got the Ace of Cups here. You got another cup over here. So there's always plenty for everyone around. That's what I'm hearing with this Two of Cups. There's always, look, fish always represent abundance. Okay, so here's the cup that you share with this person, but there's always more than enough. Or even if this is just the two sides of you, keeping yourself whole and aligned, there's always enough to share with the world around you. You, you tell people there is no such thing as a lack, and that's, that's exactly what it is. You know that you can manifest whatever you want, and you show people. You show people how to do that. They can see that there is no lack of abundance, money, joy, whatever it is you're seeking. There's plenty of it. 
There's more than enough to go around is what I keep hearing. All right, so what's a talent or skill that you have that we should know about? Freeing yourself and others from your mind traps. Your mind traps. With the Eight of Swords here, okay? This is how simple this is, okay? It's simple to say. It's, it's simple to do once you understand the concept. This goose or swan, okay, is down here surrounded by eight swords. There's brambles, okay? There's dead birds. There's skeletons here from birds that have left and died. They've been trapped in this mind trapped trap. What we see here is this tiny little hummingbird. And I have to tell you, if you watch the daily, I had a hummingbird right outside the window and I commented on it. I didn't show it to you, but I did comment on it. So there's a reason it's showing up here. This little hummingbird is telling this great big swan, you're not trapped. Okay. What you believe is what's happening here. So if you believe you're trapped, then you're trapped. But all you had to do is flap your wings and fly above this. All you had to do is walk forward, turn around, walk this way towards us, turn around, walk that way. It's how you see things. If you feel trapped, you're trapped. If you feel that you're free, you can fly free. Okay? And that's how you learned to set your intentions, to accept your desire. You are not trapped unless you want to be trapped. You are not depressed unless you want to be depressed. Okay, that's not always true. There are clinical depressions that are caused from chemical imbalances. But most of our depressions are caused from not being accepted by society, not being accepted by the people around us. And I'm going to tell you something. Nine times out of ten, it's because you have a unique quality about you that people don't understand. OK, so you may be smarter than other people and people really don't like it when you're smarter than them. OK, I actually was told I needed to dumb myself down to fit in. Um, as I've said before, I'm a loner. Go with that. Anyways, um, be yourself. Understand that if you're feeling depressed, you have to change how you see your world. Do you see the doors that are right around you? Do you see that this bird could literally knock those swords down? These are teeny tiny little things. They're narrow. They don't even look like they're in the ground, okay? It's a matter of perspective. How do you view your world? If you, if you tell yourself that the people around you are horrible, thieves, angry people, that's what you're going to see. If you tell yourself that the people around you are just like you, they're happy people, they want to engage with other happy people, you're going to see that those people are happy and they're helpful. If you're looking for helpful people, you'll find those helpful people. It's all about what, how you perceive the world. So that's a major talent and, or and skill. And you show people how to break free from the mind trap. You show people, okay? You are in this process. Maybe that's your goal too, okay? To build to the point where maybe you're teaching the law of abundance to other people. I do feel that this is still like you're affecting people. The People are seeing you glow up. People are seeing you manifest your desires. And you're going to, if somebody approaches you, you will offer your information and wisdom to them. But you will not go out to actively teach others how to do this for a while yet. That portion is going to come in the future. All right. Let us see what you do right now that you should never, ever stop doing. The four of wands, focusing on your goals. What are your dreams? What are your desires? What makes you happy? Okay, does it mean marriage? Does it mean 2.2 kids or 2.2 two kids? <laughs> whatever they used to say, 2.2 kids, two cars in the garage. Now it's up to like four or six. Um, you know, what, what? makes you happy. That's all you have to pursue is what makes you happy, not what makes society happy, what other people tell you should make you happy. What makes you happy? That's what you need to just keep focusing on. Manifesting your desires, okay? Feeling the abundance, enjoying the abundance of what you have right now. 
getting out there and playing and frolicking and having fun and connecting with whoever you can connect with. And if you don't connect with people, don't worry about it. Don't force it. Enjoy yourself. Like you can do anything by yourself that you could do with other people. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess that's true. Spirit's giving me validation. You can do anything by yourself that you could do with somebody else. Okay, so I'm hearing Spirit giving me pictures here. Going out to dinner, going to the beach, going for hikes, going for bike rides, going and doing this. There's no place that you can't go by yourself, okay? Safety first. You know what I'm talking about. What makes you happy? Go do it. Don't wait on somebody else to take you by the hand and say, let's go do this. No, you be the one to get out there and go do it. And as you're doing it, you'll meet the other people just like you. So never, ever stop trying to reach your goals of what makes you happy, of being in alignment, feeling stable. And we feel stable and secure when we can look at what we actually have in our life right now. Do you have a roof over your head? Even if you're living in a car, you have a roof over your head, right? You have a way of getting around. You have, um, if you have food on your table, you have something to be grateful for. You have your basic needs met. A roof over your head and food and water. That's all you have to have in life, okay? Anything after that is a bonus. It's a blessing. It's a joy. It's a pleasure. And we need to get back to appreciating those things for exactly what they are. And I do see you heading in that direction. So don't ever stop doing that. Knight of Wands, keep your passion. Keep going. Keep charging in with a beginner's mind. Not a true beginner. Well, in some aspects, yes, a true beginner. But you've also got wisdom here, okay, with the foxes. So use your smarts, use your head. You've been through some experiences here. You know how things work. You are going to keep going forward. Oh, I love this. And it, it leads you right back to assessing your life. What is it? What are my desires? The Knight of Wands always talks about the desires, the passions, the things that make you go ooh and ah and I want that and I want to do that, okay? And then you stop and you assess again. Am I on the right track? Keep this going. This is a beautiful cycle. Beautiful energy here. Absolutely love this. For anyone who's interested, this is the um, Shadowscape Tarot deck. Okay, I absolutely love it. This was my very first tarot deck. And boy, it spoke to me beautifully, just like it's doing right now. It is listed in the description box below. Also, I have started an Amazon wish list of Oracle and Tarot decks that you can actually make suggestions on, all right? And I've also got some decks there that um, other people have suggested already um, that I would be interested in having. Damn, I'm open to any of them, almost any. I don't want dark. I don't want dark, and I don't want, like, gruesome, but unique, fun, whatever. All right, so tickle, tap, or boop if this is you, okay, on that like button. And drop a comment. Tell me, are you, how far along are you in the process of the Law of Abundance? Did you just hear about it? Are you a couple of years in? Have you hit that plateau where all of a sudden you're like, I was manifesting everything and now nothing's coming to me. Where are you at with your Law of Abundance, Law of Attraction, what a law of assumption. It's, it goes by many, many names. It's been around for thousands of years. So tell us where you're at. Drop a comment. Check out the description box. I'm trying to find my oracle cards here. The right ones. Okay. Let us go ahead and get you an oracle message here. I still just put my hand out over there to see what spirit guides me to. But I am picking up the whole deck now because I was getting, <laughs> I was just like, how do I keep pulling the exact same card? Because Spirit wants the exact same message every time. All right, two more shuffles here. And what does Spirit want you to know? Oh, two messages. Octopus. I'm, I'm hearing put out feelers, put network, get your name out there, get, get your... We're going to check on this. Okay. Um, 
And then you have White Owl. Wisdom. Oh, boy. I'm hearing connect with a collective consciousness here. Trust in the knowledge that you have. You know what you're doing. Do not let yourself be trapped. All right, let's see. I, I'm going to have to refer to the book because this is a new deck for me. And the octopus is telling me like network here. I don't know um, exactly what that's about. page 61 which is seven so something wonderful is about to happen for you what did i just say 61 i opened right up to well i had it here memory which is where we were last okay so here in this card the octopus is a highly intelligent invertebrate whose skin contains chromatophores 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 which allows the octopus to adapt to any situation. They are a symbol of multitasking due to the actions all their limbs can handle at once. Since the octopus has come into your life, it may be time for you to juggle all of the different tasks that you have going on right now. Make a list. Set some priorities. I had to say this is exactly what's happening here. Okay, this with the seven of pentacles. You're assessing, so you're making a list, um, setting some priorities, and getting at it, okay? The ability to camouflage your, uh, the octopus themselves allows them to slip under the radar and wait for their desires. Setting your intentions and then enjoying the process, okay? Being grateful for what you have right now and knowing that once your intentions are set, it will come to you. You can call upon the octopus energy to help you wait until the right moment to get exactly what you want. So help you in waiting for divine timing. The stronger your belief is that you deserve it, the sooner that thing will come to you. Okay? Let's see what the white owl says here. Oh my goodness, my thumb. The white owl is right before... The octopus, so page 59, 60, sorry, let me see if I've got that right. 59, so 60 is the picture, and then 61. White owl has been a recurring symbol spanning thousands of years. Their white color is often associated with purity and youthfulness. The white owl embodies all species of owl's traits in readings, knowledge, wisdom, and exceptional insight. They have extraordinary, extraordinary long-range vision for hunting what they seek. This ability to see through distance and time gives them a clear insight into what actions are needed when a message is delivered. So I'm hearing you may be receiving synchronicities. Are you hearing messages? Do you know what those messages mean? Because this owl is representing that your ability to understand when the message is delivered, okay? In the dream state, Dreamscape Oracle, which that is where these cards are from, owls are messengers who carry critical communications in and out of the portals, okay? So from your guardian angels, from your higher power, from your elevated ancestors, from the beyond to you, okay? Your meaning for this card today is to time to take, oh my gosh, it's time to undertake a new spiritual pursuit. Consider and think about the cycle of life and death. Pondering, strategizing, planning. What do you want to put your efforts into? What do you need to let go of? so that you can maintain your sense of stability, abundance, joy, happiness, bliss. All of those wonderful things there. We're going to get you a spirit animal. We've already got the owl, the hummingbird, fish. We have lions, gazelles, and dragons. We have a dragon here and up here. All right. I just heard Dragonheart. 
Somebody's got the heart of a dragon. Oh, don't forget the fox, the clever fox. All right, let's see what we've got going on here. We have lizard regeneration. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens to you, you know how to adapt. You embrace every one of your transformations. You know how to put on a new cloak because you are the master of regeneration. Beautiful. That's awesome. I love that. So now we've got like a lizard. Um, and we've got a wolf. Pathfinder. We have release your past and you can start a new journey. That's what all the readings today are about starting a new journey. A new hero's journey. A new fool's journey. You are the teacher and you help others find their way. There will be challenges. Okay. But your soul is strong and can handle it. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. Two of Cups, unconditional love. You know how to love. Your love endures. It's healthy. It's balanced. It's whole. I'm hearing one more message here. Oh, a talisman. We haven't had one of these in a couple of days. So a talisman oracle message. Oh, goodness, there goes that thumb. It's almost better. I've been having troubles with it today, but it's getting better. All right, so I'm thinking pinch nerve. Oh, boy, here we go. Financial security. I love when you guys get this card. I love it. I love it. You're manifesting exactly what you want. Wow, this card popped. Union. Wholeness. Making healthy choices. With a financial card, financial security, you are about to experience great rewards or a success concerning financial security. <clears throat> this card is like the six of pentacles for me. It ushers in a sudden blessing, abundance, good karma, financial security, all right, or advancing within your career. Beautiful things happening there for you. And it says right here for your um, mantra, your positive affirmation, I am strategic. You're a strategic planner. You look at what you want to keep, what you want to get rid of. Incredible. Union. This is about the yin and yang being brought together. Unity, wholeness, and fulfillment. Harmony arises from forces that can be seen as opposites. The duality, okay? You'll, you'll hear all about duality in uh, the Law of Abundance. And these things actually are not opposites. They complement each other. And when you combine the two energies together, you create this beautiful wholeness. This is the, I mean, this is the Two of Cups card right here. And you've already got the Two of Cups here. So it's you being in alignment, bringing those two aspects together because they do complement each other, the yin and the yang. All right. So this card may represent friendship, teamwork, or a partnership. All right. Beautiful message here. And what I'm hearing is, I'm sorry, I'm hearing something. Trust. Understanding. How you see the world is what you are going to build on. You're showing people that they can trust people. Okay? There is a union, unity, harmony, a peace coming here. I'm getting six of pentacles energy from this too. All right? You can tell yourself here, we are stronger together. So if you're seeking um, friendships, partnerships, happiness, you will have it as long as you bring all aspects together. Love this message. Let's get you three yes or no answers. One through five is no. Six through 12 is yes, unless you want to reverse those roles, okay? Go ahead and check out the description box for all information. And if you can want to join an awesome community or hear more messages like this, consider subscribing to this channel. All right, let's go ahead and get you your three yes or no answers. First answer, is a one. So that is a no according to my um, 
numbers. One through five is an O. But you also have here six, four, and two. I do see the eight here. So you've got six and four, which is 10. And then you got two and eight, which is 10. Oh my gosh. And over here, I had to peek. It's a 10. Okay, so the reason this is a no, there's an imbalance here. There's another imbalance here. And there is something you're refusing to let go of. Answer number two, yes or no, is another no. It's a two. You have one, four, eight, and six. Two and eight, 10. Six and four, 10. It's just you. It's all about you. You are not seeing something the right way. All right, answer number three. Ooh, haven't had a spinner before. We've got eight, which is a yes answer. Woo, woo. Then you have 12. Then you have seven and two, okay? And that is all that I'm seeing right here. But the eight and the two suggests that the imbalance is on your part again, okay? But what I'm hearing from Spirit is, is you are about to let it go. You're about to bring things into balance and drop, let go, walk away from, or clear up your thinking is what I'm hearing. Clearing up how you are seeing something. Getting a clarity and an understanding of something. I'm also hearing networking, joining together with other people, building um, stability, happiness, abundance, money. Beautiful message here. All right. Until our energy crosses again, I'm going to wish you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.